Start menu, groove music, Minecraft, and more. But is it enough to sway Windows 7 and 8 users to Windows 10? It's make or break time. Find out more next. Hey guys, I'm John from podcastwithwin.com and one of the things I really want to get started on right away with this Windows 10 uh, preview edition I'm on right now, which is uh, 10166, and one of the things I've noticed is that it's cleaned up a little bit. Uh, nothing nothing major uh, since the last preview, but uh, let's just go over right to uh, the, the uh, side panel here, and here we have uh, Groove Music. Uh, as you can see, it's it, almost exactly the same layout as it was before when it was called Xbox Music, so nothing changed there. They just want to change the name to avoid some of the confusion that we've kind of been dealing with um, for some users, uh, assuming that you needed an Xbox account in order to use this uh, this app. So they finally kind of just changed that, and just it's just a name change. Everything else looks almost exactly the same, as you can see here. It just says uh, uh, Groove Music, so nothing, nothing really significant there. Okay, one of the next things I want to talk about and something that I'm in particular looking forward to is the ability to stream your Xbox directly to your PC. And I'll show you that right now uh, using my screen recorder. I'm using Manicam. Actually, this entire thing is filmed with Manicam. Uh, so all you have to do is you go over to your Xbox. And now right now, I've actually turned on my Xbox already. Uh, but what I will show you is that all you have to do is, even if your Xbox is off, you can go directly into your Xbox app and... Uh, as you can see, I have it here on my desktop. It's actually on my taskbar. And now all you have to do, and as you can see, it no longer says uh, preview or demo. Uh, it just says Xbox. So this is the fully finished app. I'm sure there will be fixes made to it because it is, as you can see, my screen is a little bit, uh, it's flashing a little bit. That is uh, driver issues I'm having with my current video card and running Windows 10. Um, so I apologize for that, but as you can see here, it says Xbox now. So you just download that app in the uh, Windows uh, Store, and once you're running Windows 10, of course, uh, and you're gonna go and you're gonna click on this here where it says uh, Connected. Uh, there's a lot of other options, and you can go over that. You can actually add games directly to this, uh, which it basically just runs the same as if you were running it directly from your desktop or if you're using Steam or any other uh, apps like that. Uh, so what you're going to want to do uh, when doing so, you click on Connect and you go up to uh, Connect to your Xbox One. Uh, and as you can see, um, it is listed already. Uh, Jamus is my Xbox Live account name. Uh, so you can go to Test Streaming. It'll show you your ping levels and, and basically how smooth the transfer will be over via your, ne your current network. Uh, and you can also disconnect or turn off your Xbox from here. So this makes things a lot easier. Um, I have my controller right here. I will hold it up to the camera as you can see. Uh, it, like I said, my Xbox is currently on. Uh, and I'm going to just go to uh, stream. As you can see, it says connecting on Jamus. And this PC isn't connected to an Xbox controller. Attach one and try again. Uh, that is actually something I haven't done yet. And I can do that right now that uh, we're recording this. I don't know how well this is going to go. But you know what? Let's just give that a try. Uh, just plug this into here. Okay, uh, so this is definitely connected to my my PC. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. I'm not sure if that's something that they have developed yet. But uh, we're going to actually just click on uh, continue. Uh, and as you can see, I am uh, streaming. This is live uh, directly from my Xbox to my Windows 10 Xbox app. Um, and yeah, I can pretty much go into anything. I have uh, all my games are available on here. Um, one thing I would love to see integrated into this system would be to be able to use your keyboard and mouse uh, as, a, as a game uh, for gameplay or to even uh, access certain things like Xbox Video or I guess Xbox Music, Twitch. Uh, that would be really great. But being able to just scroll uh, your mouse uh, in and out of the uh, app screen, the stream itself, uh, is great. I really like that. So you can do different things with that. It's going to be really useful. A lot of people uh, that are going to be doing things like live streams. Um, if you uh, if you have to purchase uh, like a tuner, a video capture card, uh, that'll help save cost on that. Uh, now, what one of the only gripes I have with this is that I, uh, first of all, the uh, the reaction time is amazing. Uh, it's fast. Uh, depending on, of course, your uh, your network speeds and. Uh, how close your device is to your PC, your uh, your laptop, your Surface, depending on what you're using, uh, speeds will vary, of course. 
but one thing I really do like is uh, that it is very fast and it's almost unnoticeable in latency. So that is that is a really good feature. That is a really good feature. Um, one downside is um, right now I don't have them side by side for picture quality wise. Um, but it is a little blurrier. The colors are not quite as good. Um, I am currently playing uh, or using this on a 27 inch BenQ 144 hertz monitor uh, in 1080p. Uh, so it does look really good. So again, it really depends on the hardware you're using and everything like that to, uh, to get the best quality stream that you can. But like I said, I can't complain. And also, as you can tell, uh, you can hear it. So not only does it stream video, which is one thing I wasn't sure about when this was uh, announced, but it also streams audio. So you can do everything. You can watch your movies, you know, your Blu-rays, your video games, anything you want to do on your Xbox One uh, to your PC, and you're going to get that, that sound quality uh, without having to rig up to a secondary audio device, like maybe a receiver having to change the channel on your stereo receiver to get the audio to come through. You can do everything through here. So again, this is excellent. Um, and that was really about it. Uh, there is an option for a microphone, as you can see uh, right here. I was clicking on it earlier. I'm not too sure if that works. I haven't tested this with uh, multiplayer yet. I think that that might give you the option to be able to use your external microphone uh, through your, your PC to interact with people on the Xbox as opposed to having use um, an Xbox headset. Uh, so that might actually come in handy. Uh, so yeah, you know what? This is it. It looks great. Uh, it it it's smooth. Everything seems to be uh, re very responsive, uh, but again, it does come down to what uh, hardware you are, what hardware you're using, and your your connectivity with your network. Okay, so stay tuned for the next part, which uh, should be coming up really soon, where I'm going to talk about Minecraft for Windows 10 in the Windows 10 Store. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about was actually the Windows Store and Minecraft for the Windows Store in particular. Uh, now, one of the things that I am looking forward to is actually using the Windows Store. Now, as many of you may know, Microsoft uh, over the past two or three years have had uh, a hard time getting anybody to actually develop any apps for this. So I think that bringing Minecraft uh, to uh, Microsoft and the Windows Store is a huge deal. Um, first of all, Minecraft is probably one of the most downloaded games of all time. That's huge. It's available on all platforms. It's available on Pocket Edition. Uh, consoles editions uh, and of course your desktop uh, and that's Apple and Microsoft of course so to be able to bring that much attention all at once might change the way people think of the Microsoft Store now I've never had any problems with the Microsoft Store I think the only issue that really lays there is all the apps that are available in there are things that you would more than likely either use on your phone or just go to their websites. If I'm going to use Facebook, I'm going to go to Facebook.com. I'm going to use Twitter on my phone. I don't think I've ever really used Twitter on my PC. I mean, that might be different for everybody else, of course, depending on where you're comfortable with or whatever you're just casually using it. Uh, so Microsoft bringing Minecraft to Windows 10 is huge. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about Windows, uh, Windows 10 uh, third-party development. Now, there's going to be more people wanting to make mod packs for this new Minecraft. This new Minecraft PC slash Pocket Edition. I'm still a little bit confused on this whole thing. I don't know why they went with that instead of going with the Xbox Edition. Or, uh, I guess even the PlayStation if they could work something out there, which would be probably impossible. But, they went with the Pocket Edition, which dumbs down the Minecraft that we know right now on, the, on our PCs. Right? So, I don't know why they went in that direction. I don't know why they didn't just somehow port the PC edition that we know. I know it's running off of Java, which is complicated. The servers are complicated. Everything is a little harder to work around with that, but that almost made some of it fun because it, it was more of a challenge. It made it worth it. It made it worth the time. Uh, but hey, you know what? Having it available in, in the, uh, the App Store might make more people visit the App Store, might make more people, I don't know, even play the PC version versus the Xbox version. Who knows? Uh, so we're taking a step back in the sense that we're using a Pocket Edition on our PCs, uh, which is okay, I guess. Um, it'll be good for some people that are going to be using their, their Xbox controllers, uh, if they'd like to use that, or if they want to use keyboard and mouse, or of course your touch devices, like uh, if you have a Surface or uh, another, another like a, a Zeus version of, of it or whatever. It is 
it is up for debate right now at this point. We will see. Um, I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing more attention drawn to the Microsoft Store and see where that takes us. Anyway, that ends this part of uh, Windows 10 update. And uh, hopefully I'll see you soon with a little bit more information on this uh, upon release date. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one.